It surprises many people to learn that biblical literalism is a fairly modern invention. In fact, for many of the saints, the truest sense of scripture was its allegorical or its spiritual meaning. But what does it mean to read a passage allegorically like the saints did? Well, I'm Reverend Ian Collier, and this is Two Minute Methodism. Origin of Alexandria, widely considered to be an absolute genius and the father of Christian biblical studies, taught that scripture has three senses. The bodily sense, which today we would call literal, the spiritual sense, which taught us something about God, and the psychic sense, which spoke to how we can grow to become like Jesus. For Origen, every single word of scripture was put there by the Holy Spirit. But some passages as written are either impossible to be taken literally or seemingly just unhelpful on their face. These might be biblical contradictions or just factual errors. When this happens, Origen says that this is the way that the Holy Spirit is forcing us to look deeper, to reflect on what deeper truth the scripture might be telling us. One great example of how this works is in St. Gregory of Nyssa's commentary on the life of Moses. Looking at the story in Exodus 12, verses 33 to 36, in which the Hebrews pillage gold and silver from the Egyptians, Gregory is appalled that God would condone this kind of gang thievery. For him, this must be pointing to a deeper meaning. Thinking allegorically, Gregory concludes that the true wealth of the Egyptians was their learning and their wisdom. Gregory points to a psychic or a moral reading of this passage in which a righteous person is commanded to take secular learning or wisdom, like science or math or rhetoric and composition, and put it to work in the Christian life. Just as the Hebrews used the wealth that they had pillaged from the Egyptians after they passed through the Red Sea to their freedom. So, if you see something in the Bible that doesn't make sense to you, ask yourself, what deeper meaning might this have? Then you'll be reading like a saint.